In this video, I'm testing how to do better prompts by using Anthropic's prompt generation tool. Back in May, Anthropic released a prompt generation tool within their console, and they've got this blog post that says you can now generate production ready prompt templates using Anthropic console and using techniques such as chain of thought reasoning. Now, if you head over to their documentation, they basically say sometimes the hardest part of using AI model is figuring out how to prompt it effectively to help we've created a prompt generation tool. And that's what we're going to explore today. So I've been building a GPT workflow engine. And this morning I was releasing a video and realized I didn't have the prompts prepared for creating a tweet or doing a LinkedIn post. These are the prompts that we're going to try and develop. Basically, they would take some inputs and the prompt would go in here. So how do we improve that particular prompt? Now, in the past, I've used custom GPTs to turn transcripts from my videos into LinkedIn posts and also to convert them into tweets. But today, we're going to do it a lot simpler to get started. I've come over to console.anthropic.com and we've got this ability to write some prompts and interact with a model. There's also stuff around a system prompt and there's this little button here that says generate prompt and it'll make a better prompt for you hopefully so what we're going to do is just click on that and i'm just going to use a really simple statement create tweets for youtube videos and we'll generate the prompt and we'll see what it comes up with so it's got a bunch of information coming through looks like some variables it put in some guidelines and it looks like it's going to produce three different tweets so the generated prompt starts with you are tasked with creating engaging tweets to promote YouTube videos. Your goal is to craft tweets that will grab attention, convey essence of the video and encourage users to click and watch. It sounds great. We've got a title which makes sense. We've got a description. We've got a duration. Let's read the guidelines a bit. Tweets should be concise, 280 characters. Yes main point and hook in the video, a couple of hashtags, and it's got this mention the video duration if the selling point, e.g. quick five minute guide. That sounds interesting. It's like something that might happen if it's useful. And then we got the structure, attention grabbing, we got calls to action, and we got the video link. So it's given a couple of examples. So it's brilliant, actually. Please create three different tweets. So this is good. We've got three examples, and they're going into locations called Tweet 1, 2, and 3. So this is a pretty good start. And this was the video I was going to do a tweet about. So it's nine days old. I didn't do a tweet at the time, but I do have a title. We do have a description. So I've just brought up the workflow tool, which is around creating a tweet at the moment. The prompt that we want to do would go into here, but here are the variables that we've got, which is a title that was in the prompt we were looking at. We got a video link. We got keywords, which wasn't in the prompt we were just looking at, and we got the sum. So we're in Anthropic Console with the prompt that we need. I've made one modification, so that used to say video duration, and I've also removed point number six that talked about that. Now, one of the things I noticed, there's nowhere for the URL, though there are these square brackets down here saying video link, and that's in a few places. So let's see what happens when we generate this. So we should be able to edit it. And I've gone and filled in the title, the description, and the keyword from the video. I haven't filled in the URL, but we'll run it and we'll see what we get. So we've got these tweet one, two, and three. Let's test this text. That's a little bit easier to read. So we can see what the first tweet will be, the second, and the third. And I'm just going to paste in the video link. We can click here to configure, paste it in, and let's see if that's all we need to do to add the video link. So that didn't work, but we could try one other thing and maybe change it so that it's got these input variables. Now I was struggling for a little bit to get the URL in here. I kept seeing square brackets video link and I wasn't sure what was going on. Then I noticed at the bottom, it actually says to do that. Remember to use video link as a placeholder for the actual URL, which might be what you want. It's not what I wanted. So I've just replaced it with this and we'll just rerun the prompt again we should get three tweets we got one here we don't have one here interesting so we'll just undo so i'm also going to change this little structure that it's got there and just say remember to add it to the tweet and we'll see if all three of them come up with video links this time so the first one does the second and the third one of the problems that I just noticed in having it generate a prompt for me is that unless I go in and 
pick it apart, I might miss little things. This doesn't usually happen when I'm creating prompts myself. So I've come into a text editor and put the prompt that Anthropics created over on the left. And over on the right, I've got part of the prompt from my custom GPT. And we can see here, you are specialized in creating tweets for YouTube videos. And we've got different information. One of them is the 280 character limit that we've got going on here. I usually use the following three variables, the summary from the video, the video keywords, and the video URL. What I thought I'd do is just copy this information. I've come in to generate a new prompt and I'm just gonna paste everything that we had from our old prompt. What I'm hoping is that because I spent a bit of time figuring out what I wanted and it generally works the way I do want it to work. Let's see if we can improve it. Now it's come up with a number of examples, which is great. We got the summary, the keywords and the URL. So this looks like it might be a good way to start. I'm happy with what it's done. One of the things it's done here is added in a couple of keywords, which is something you'd want to do. There weren't any keywords coming through on this, which is interesting. Look, both techniques are fairly powerful. Obviously with this one, this was such a simple start. It was just create tweets for a YouTube video and it got a big prompt going straight away. The second one, it was more in keeping with what I wanted originally because I'd spent a bit of time building a starter prompt. So I'm going to try this new prompt in my workflow tool. So I've taken everything that we just generated. I've just modified the variables a little bit right here. We've got a workflow engine here with the title, the link, the keywords, and the summary, and we'll just paste everything in. And these insertion points, if I show the values, should be showing up. So there's the summary going on. That looks good. We've got the keywords. We'll just close that down, press copy. It's now in the clipboard. We'll head over to GPT and just paste it in and see if it can produce a good-looking tweet as well. And it looks pretty good. I probably want to get rid of these notation that's from Anthropic, but the actual tweet, the keywords also make a lot of sense. The good thing also with using an external tool rather than the Anthropic one is that you could go and use other sorts of models as you see fit for different steps in the workflow. So with the tweet text available, I'm just going to create a tweet. I'll just drag in an image here and we'll paste it in and hopefully it's not too big. It looks good and we can post it and we should test it, see whether the URL is working. So we'll just click on that and, looks, and it looks like we've got a video coming through. Let's move on and just do the LinkedIn post as well. Let's test the simple one first. You create LinkedIn posts based on a YouTube script. Something is coming through. It's taking a YouTube script and then there's a bunch of points that it needs to do. We're just going to press continue on that. And then I think we can just click on the YouTube script, come over to the YouTube script, paste it in and we'll run it and we'll see what we get for a LinkedIn post. And it's created two useful things so it's got its thinking how it's approaching it it's figured out generally the topic and it's only done that from the abridgment i didn't give the title and we've got some key points listed here and relevant keywords from there it's written a short but useful post there's no link to the youtube video in there but you could start with this what we'll do is we'll update it by using the YouTube transformer that I've got over here so we can edit it, go into configure, and we'll just copy whatever's going on here. We are now on a new prompt. We'll say generate prompt, and the information that's from the GPT with a little bit of a modification is just sitting here, and all the variables that I need are included, or the, the variables I like to include for my LinkedIn post, whether they're really needed, could be debatable. But we've got something coming through here and it's guidelines. I think we're just ultimately going to work with something very similar to this. Let's press continue. So I've got my workflow tool. I'm just going to be copying values from one tool to the other and we'll test out how this all works. There's everything filled in. We'll press run on that. 
And we've got, are you a small content creator looking to monetize? Discover game-changing platform that's helping creators earn from day one. We've got a bunch of things. We've got some steps that I did in the video. We've got a link, not necessarily quite in the format I want, but it's in the location I want. We've got some keywords, I think that we will take this. We're going to look at one other thing before we do, but I'm just going to take this information straight over to LinkedIn. The other thing it's done is give us, us a bit of an explanation around what's going on. It can be good to read through this as well. I've just gone over to LinkedIn. I'm just going to drag in a thumbnail and we'll just paste in everything we've got. And it's looking pretty good. There is an issue here with the link, I believe and we'll press post and probably I would normally read this but we'll go with that. There's the first version of the LinkedIn post. Let's check that the URL is working. It looks like it's working. Let's just do one more test. I've got all the information from our prompt here. I've got some placeholders and we'll just copy the information. Come over to the prompt area so that it loads up the insertion points from the data that we've got here. We can just press the copy button, bring up a GPT and paste it in. And we will publish both LinkedIn articles if this one looks okay, just so that we can see them side by side in LinkedIn. So we've come to LinkedIn, we'll just post in another image like we did before given it just a little bit of padding between lines that didn't come through correctly and there is no URL, but we've got that in place now. We'll press post. And what we can now do is look at these side by side. So here's the first LinkedIn post that we did. And the second one is going on here. And ultimately, they're both going to be okay, whatever we've got. Usually, I'll do a little bit of human editing anyway. And this just allows me to get a little bit more social proof out there in the form of posts and do them quickly just using the transcriptions that we started off with in the video. Anthropic's prompt generator is really powerful. I'm going to use it a lot in the future. If you've got any questions, then drop a comment down below. Otherwise, like and subscribe because the videos that I do will either be on prompt engineering or as I build out this GPT workflow engine, you can see the progress as I go with that. I'm Happy Dave. See you in the next video.